name is Janet and welcome to day two of the Because We Can Readathon Travel Edition. I am your host for today and I am so excited to be here and to be doing this challenge with you guys. I also am having a little bit of a hard time believing that it's already day two and that the readathon is already happening because I feel like I've been working on this for 10 years. I hope your reading is currently going well and I absolutely cannot wait to see what you guys have come up with for this challenge. Today's challenge is the pack a bag challenge and we want you to show us either packing yourself a bag to attend a fictional world or pack a bag for a character's journey. You have a couple of different options with an entry for this one. You can either film yourself packing a bag and post it to YouTube or IGTV or you could simply post a photo to Instagram or Twitter. The choice is completely up to you. For my video I've decided I'm going to be visiting Lyra's Oxford from His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. His Dark Materials takes place in a number of alternate universes and in one of them we meet a girl named Lyra Balakwa and Lyra lives in Oxford. Her Oxford is sort of similar to our Oxford except of course for a few key differences. One of which being everyone of course has a demon that is a animal companion that's part of them and is basically their soul and there are these freaky barrage balloons in the sky. So let's start packing a bag. I have been invited to go to Lyra's Oxford. I am really really excited about this. Will has said that he's going to come and use his knife to cut through a path for me and then obviously he's going to close it up behind us when we go through. I'm really really excited about it but I don't exactly know what to pack. I've never been somewhere like Lyra's Oxford before and I don't really know what I'm gonna need. So we're just, I mean Lyra gave me a few things. She basically just said just bring clothes and yourself but I mean I just don't know what I'm going to need you know so I suppose we should just we should just start with the clothes okay we'll start with clothes and we'll go from there. Lara didn't tell me if I needed summer clothes or winter clothes so we're just gonna pack it all. Just gonna pack everything. Okay some shirts, a pair of shorts, probably need some pajamas, sweater and some jeans you know just in case it is cold. You just never know. And oh, I suppose it can't hurt to take some gloves and a beanie. I and mean, you never know when you'll need bathers. What else, what else, what else, what else? Well, obviously. And Lyra did sort of say if I had an alethiometer to bring that, but I don't have an alethiometer, so we're just gonna take this watch. I mean, it's, it's totally broken and it doesn't work anymore and it's weirdly rusting, but I mean, can't hurt, right? I also think we're going to need a jacket, so we'll take one of those. I don't think the jacket's going to really fit in the bag, so we'll just sort of lay it down next to it. Clothing-wise, I think I've probably got everything. Probably need some shoes, though, so we can take a pair of sandals in case it's nice. We'll need to take some sneakers for walking around in. Okay, I think we're doing well. Now, I mean, it could be kind of a dangerous place, right? Probably not a bad idea to take our weapon with us. You just never know. Take a scarf, in case it's a little bit chilly. We'll take Brenda. No, we won't take Brenda. Yeah, no, we'll take Brenda. Calm enough, I mean, you never know what sort of blankets they're going to give you, so we better take a blanket with us. Sonic screwdriver, obviously. Couple of shot glasses in case we get a chance to drink alcohol. Not that I drink alcohol. Not that I'm suggesting we drink alcohol, but you know, just in case. You, do, you just always want to be prepared for every situation. Drink bottle for water, obviously. I mean, what situation do you know of where you don't take a globe? Painting to light up the room. Headgear, in case I forget my name. Handheld mirror, obviously important. Calendar clock to ward off any voodoo that might be in the room. Obviously can't forget the most important. Need that, always can't go anywhere without it. Just in case it rains or is too sunny. Never be too careful. Just in case there's a fancy dress up party. A book in case we get a little bit of downtime. And of course, one very important thing that I cannot leave behind. I obviously need my demon, my asleep demon. Obviously a demon is very important in Lyra's Oxford and I don't have one, so Pascal will be my demon. Alrighty, I think uh, I think that's everything. I think I'm probably ready to go. Okay, let's just uh, um, that, and I'll probably have to put this on. I'm just oh yeah, no, it's only a little bit heavy. It's fine. Come here, you. Okay, well, I'm off to Lyra's Oxford. I reckon I've got everything. Do you think I've got everything? That means yes. All right, well, off we go then. This thing's really heavy now. Alrighty, come on, you and me, let's go. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, hey, Will. Yep. Yeah, no, I've got everything. Totally. Totally, totally. Let's do this. Yes! And there you go. I think I packed 
fairly well for a trip to Lyra's Oxford, but I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Of course, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to actually carry the bag because it's kind of heavy, but um, <laughs> I'm sure that's somebody else's problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you would pack on a trip to Lyra's Oxford because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye. Thank you.